Hey guys, Uber Life NYC coming here at you springtime here in New York. Um, it is definitely April and you know, I've just been doing some driving, you know, for the winter time. Like I said, uh, most of the time I'm part time. So, you know, so the money for me is it's okay. I'm not out here killing it. I'm not uh, making a living off of doing this. Um, and a lot of guys are. And you know what? That's great. They're able to spend that much time behind the wheel, you know, and make that make the money that they want to make on their own schedule, be their own boss, all that stuff. It's really here. It really is. So that's what I enjoy about it. Um, I just do it whenever I have the time. And being that I'm renting a car, um, sometimes I just pay for the rental car, you know, and do my other jobs. So... You know, so it's a give and take. It's a love and hate, honestly. And hopefully in August when the um, TLC license plate issuing per, you know, actually plate a car gets lifted, then I will be able to get my own car. So that'll be really happy days. And I'll, of course I'll do a video on that whole process. But speaking of um, Uber right now, so it seems, is sort of at a lock. Um, there, if you're a new driver, you're going to have to wait just to even get on the system. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm getting a, quite a few different emails from people stating that this is happening to them, that Uber is putting them on a wait list just to drive for them. So, you know, this kind of reminds me, this kind of goes back to um, my promotional video. It says optimizing promotions um, and starting, not starting with Uber. If, especially if you have to rent a car, um, you know, start with Via, go with Lyft and Via, and then do Uber. So, anyway, um, you know, I've made a whole separate video on just doing that, but I do. I'm pretty proud that I'm rocking a 1,200 rides. I'm rocking a 4.96 rating. Um, bottom line is, you just can't please everyone. You know, you, all you can do is try. And if I'm part-time, I'm pretty happy and pretty friendly 99% of the time. But like I said, there's just some people out there that just like to, uh, you know, just not going to be happy no matter what you do or what you say. So, um, you know, I think that's really good rating for the amount of trips that I've done. I'd like to see it higher, but, you know, hey, it is what it is. But, you know, uh, let me see, I'm kind of going over. Um, as far as the money wise goes I think I just mentioned this um, it really is up to you you know I can easily average 150 200 a day some of these guys out here are doing three four hundred a day so that really kind of lies into you um, I do have a question for you guys um, I got a text off of my lift from a lift passenger and I don't know how to text uh, passengers I can call them from Lyft, but I can't seem to figure out how to text them. And if you guys can uh, put that in the comments below, that'd be great. You know, um, one thing about doing a lot of driving, some of these guys are doing 40 to 60 to 80 hours a week. Man, you better have a gym membership, ride a bicycle after work, get out of the car, drink a lot of water, um, don't sit on your wallet, do all these kind of things to really help promote your health because there's no job out there that's really worth you know um, losing your health over or just getting in bad shape and this is one of them that'll take it from you it will um, you know and that also just kind of goes in with safety it's I mean if you're tired behind the wheel you're not safe for anybody other drivers your passengers and most of all yourself so you know keep all that stuff in mind and um, that's pretty much just kind of the video I wanted to run down. You know, things are still going good. I'm back to driving the Avalon, um, which just seems to me to have the most room. It's just a basic car. I'm actually taking it over to the mechanics again. Seems it's doing a lot of squeaking. Now, I think most drivers who rent these cars at $400 a week are not taking them to the, you know, get new windshield wiper blades, get the headlights changed out, all the stuff that you're getting paid or that you're paying for that they should have to redo or should be done. They're just re-renting the cars. So you're not, um, you're not 
you're gonna have to go in once in a while don't be afraid to do it you know half hour here half hour there it's really worth it you're gonna uh, you know it's your car that you're driving around you want to be the most comfortable anyway guys um i hope you found some in useful information and you know like i always say i'll see you on the road and see you